There is a desperate need to get food and water tonight to thousands of the victims here in the Philippines. This new aerial video shows Taklaban, which bore the full brunt of the typhoon. Tonight, the USS George Washington strike group, which includes a San Diego warship, is on its way to help. It left from Hong Kong and is now on its way to the coast of the Philippines and should arrive sometime tomorrow. 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence with the other San Diego ship that is ready to go if asked. The hospital ship USNS Mercy has responded to natural disasters before. It hasn't been asked to go to the Philippines, but because of its involvement with Pacific Partnership, the door to those areas in the Pacific has already been open. When Japan was hit with a tsunami in 2011, crews loaded water and other supplies from Navy ships nonstop. It's something they practice on a regular basis. The vital signs are unchanged. So do medical personnel on the USNS Mercy. But the hospital ship for now will stay in San Diego. Commodore Mike Taylor. We have not yet been formally tasked to, to activate Mercy. Uh, and if that were to happen, we could certainly do so and we could get the ship underway uh, in five days or less. Mercy is part of Pacific Partnership, an effort that grew out of the 2004 disaster in the Pacific. Leading the 2013 effort was Commodore Wally Lovely. We've done a lot of different things this year relative to the past. For example, he said other host nations like Australia and New Zealand took the lead in the 2013 effort to help as many as six different island nations to learn to fend for themselves in the days that follow a crisis. Doing that in a Pacific partnership and then when you need to respond via a crisis, it just makes everything go so much smoother. The carrier USS George Washington, loaded with massive stores of food and water, is headed to the Philippines, as is the carrier escort, the San Diego-based guided missile cruiser USS Cowpens. Their mission will be to assess what else may be needed before something like the Mercy is called. Bob Lawrence, 10 News.